Hey guys, Ryan here. So today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 favorite anime shows for the year of 2021. So we're going to start off with number 5, and that is Demon Slayer. Now this anime is really popular. It just got a new movie. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I definitely would love to see it. I've been hearing great things. And this is really good on character development. And the action's awesome. The characters are lovable. And um, yeah, it's like very intense at times. And it's like really cool. I love the action, the characters, the world, the story. Everything about Demon Slayer is amazing. And then on the back it says top anime of 2019. So yeah, I definitely want to get the rest. Demon Slayer in terms of like the manga and the anime and um, I have some figures on the way so I'm definitely gonna make some stop-motion videos with those so yeah that is Demon Slayer at number five so at number four we got Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and in Jojo they have different parts my favorite part so far is Diamond is Unbreakable and um, these Jojoniums are super nice by the way we got all the little diamonds because this diamond is unbreakable, right? So, yeah, there's like a whole mystery to this in this town where all these like um, crimes are happening and whatnot. I love all the different stand powers in JoJo. Like, they're really unique. And, um, and, and JoJo is like always interesting. And, yeah, the artwork is fantastic. I feel like JoJo gets better in every part. And, yeah. Can't wait to watch part five and then get more of the manga. And um, yeah, I don't own any of the anime for JoJo, but that would be really cool to have. So yeah, that is number four, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So number three we got is Haikyuu. And this is my second favorite manga series. And the anime is so good. It's so good on character development. It's really motivational and um, it's really entertaining with all the different matches. It was really fascinating that the main character would like close his eyes and um, would hit the volleyball anywhere that Tobio sends it. And then, um, yeah, he was able to overcome that and get better. And um, yeah, it's like really motivational. It's great on character development. The action's great. It's awesome. Okay, and then at number two we got is Full Metal Alchemist. So, I absolutely adore this series. This is Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, which follows the manga really closely, it has like no filler whatsoever, 64 episodes in total, and um, I remember when these were out of print and I got them for like a really great deal. Um, you can watch it on, I believe, Netflix, at least you could watch it on Netflix at one point. I know it was on Crunchyroll, and um, yeah, I love so many characters from this. Um, like Ed, Al, Winry, to name a few. And um, yeah, the world feels real. Like it has really great world building. And the power system is really cool with alchemy. So yeah, it's awesome from start to finish. I love this series. And um, yeah, I would highly recommend it. All right, and then at number one we got is Hunter x Hunter. And I own the whole thing for this. I've seen all the episodes. And I own some of the manga for it. Most of the manga. So this follows the main character, Gon. And, you know, he's trying to become a pro hunter. Find his dad. Make friends and enemies along the way. And the storytelling and writing is amazing. And the animation is fantastic. And, yeah, it's so good. It definitely deserves my top spot because it's, it's fantastic. And... Yeah, um, I really, really love Hunter x Hunter. So to summarize, we got Demon Slayer at number five, then we got Jojo at number four, Haikyuu at number three, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood at number two, and then Hunter x Hunter at number one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment what you thought, and um, yeah, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace.